water polo was like my life. I was like, yeah, definitely aiming for like the kind of national kind of New Zealand team vibe. But um, it took up every little bit of time I had. Like I, it was like, how many days of training a week? Like six, six trainings a week maybe? Sometimes seven when like nationals came up and stuff. It was like intense. Um, but it was like, I think I kind of, in my last year of high school, realised that it was kind of, you know, you either carry on after you finish high school and it's kind of like, that's your full-time job, you know, then you've got to commit to that. Um, or I drop it and I go to university and focus on something else or do music. Um, and that's when I kind of had to drop water polo and be like, I'm going to commit now to something else. Obviously the right decision, but... Oh, yeah. I'm happy. I'm very happy that I dropped the water Did you have a book or diary of <laughs> lyrics and songs prepared ahead of time? <laughs> or was this just like, okay, I'm, I'm here at university and yeah. I'm going to drop out, and then you started scribbling? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've always kind of like written little notes down and stuff, and like I always, I had like a, I have like a, a garage band on my old computer filled with just weird little ideas and like quarters of songs and stuff but never like a full-on song that I had ready to like release or anything. I um, started working with this guy called Josh Fountain the year after uh, um, 2018. Was it 2018? 17? 2017. Oh wait no that was in high school. Yeah my la in my last year of high school I kind of went and worked with him in the studio and um, that was when I first started to like properly make make a song. Mm. Yeah. How was it going into a studio for the first time? <laughs> um, it was weird because yeah. I'd never done like I mean I I had done voiceovers so I was kind of used to doing like going into a studio with people who I didn't. What know kind of voiceovers? Like advertisements on radio. Really? Yeah. Were, what, 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 you were just that girl that I did the, the commercials. I was the Cheerios voiceover. There yeah. was like a British chick who did the Cheerios ad, and I did the Kiwi version. Um, so that was me. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> so um, you've been kind of performing already, just oh yeah. in different... My, my mum's into that and she's also into acting, so mm -hmm. she, she got me into acting as well a little bit when I was younger.